Jenny here. Happy Monday. Got my walk in. You can tell if the skies or not. It's dark out. It already rained this morning. It rained yesterday. So we didn't take a walk. Saturday, I don't know. I was just busy all day. I didn't take a walk. So today I figured I gotta get this walk in while it's not raining because it's supposed to rain again like in an hour or so. <laughs> so, see some squirrels in the field. One day I saw seven squirrels, just just in this one little area. It's kind of cute. We must have been having a squirrel party. <laughs> and last night when my daughter got home a little bit late, she said that as she was pulling in the garage, she saw a raccoon kind of at the end of our sidewalk and then going over towards our garage alongside the, or our garden alongside the house. So there are still raccoons in the area. So I wouldn't doubt that that's what took mom's um, suet pumpkin. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they, they would enjoy that. Other than that, not much going on. I uh, put up my video today on my new ostomy bag. I have an opaque ostomy bag now that I've been wearing, so I've been liking that one, so I think I might stick with that for a little while. I have to let my company know because they just got my last order in and they went back to the transparent bag. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> I have to let you know. So we will uh, get that changed up, have to make that phone call. And then seeing as mom's been out of the house, she's kind of up for going out again. She wants to get her hair cut because, same, she hasn't had her hair cut in over two years. <laughs> and uh, she has cut it before, way back when. But she's like, eh, I don't really want to chance it. So I'm going to call the haircut place and see if it's okay that she just comes in in her walker because she's got a walker that she can sit on. And if they can just cut her hair while she sits on that. So I still have to do that. A couple phone calls. I still haven't checked my live well to see if I have results yet. So it's another thing on my list of things to do. I'm just plugging away though. <laughs> it took me a long time to make a thumbnail for today's video. I kept trying and trying and Cassie helped me a little bit with stuff and was uh, <laughs> oh, a, lot of, a lot of trial and error before I came up with something I liked. So that took time. I made a thumbnail for another video. I think, what else? That was about it. I don't know. I've just been, been plugging away. Just go, go, go in this morning. So like I said, I'm getting my walk in. I was hoping to get some reading done. I haven't done that yet today either. It's lunchtime. Got to make lunch. <laughs> Um, I thought I forgot what else I was going to say. Did not find the pumpkin that blew away. I thought the other day when I drove up to Grafton that I would find it down at the end of the road. I didn't find that. Still haven't found the corn cob. So don't expect to. And then on Friday, we were supposed to have movie night and my girlfriend had um, something in the family come up so she wasn't able to make it. So we were going to shoot for this Friday. So I think those are the latest updates. It's not too much exciting. Today's Monday, tomorrow's voting day, so I'm gonna have to go do that. I have not voted early, so tomorrow will be voting day and Wednesday is a doctor's appointment. And then Friday will be either movie night or we'll just have a meal and talk or something. So that's it for me for now. Get out here, get my walk in, enjoy the nature before it rains again. And at least it's kind of warm. It's in the 60s today. It's been cold the last few days, so I will enjoy this. Finishing my walk and seeing that my neighbor's trees have pretty much lost all their leaves. That was fast. Happy Tuesday. It's voting day. I'm at our voting place. It's actually pretty busy. There's lots of cars here. So, there's nobody outside though. Wayne said when he came this morning that there were about 50 people waiting outside. Took him about 45 minutes to get through. So we shall see how long this takes. It's about 63 degrees out, so nice weather. So that won't hold anybody back from coming out when they need to today. So it's not raining or snowing or cold or all that. Possibility of rain today though, so I wanted to get out early too for that. Make sure I get this done. Alrighty, done deed. Woo! I was number 192. Not bad. There were actually more people. There's like 20 people in line to register. So that's good. People that haven't voted before are voting in this election. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. I only had like eight people in front of me. So in and out, 20 minutes. Yay!
let's go have breakfast. <laughs> All right, it is Tuesday night and it's 4.30. And I just remembered and had time to actually go check my email to see if by chance my CT results were in. And they're not. <laughs> I had an email from Aurora saying after results, no, after, after visit summary. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, again, short-term memory. After visit summary, and sometimes they label things goofy and whatever, and I thought, okay, well, what after visit? If that's the only visit I've had recently, and so I clicked on that, and it was actually um, a note saying that my um, oncologist nurse actually put a call through to the CT center saying, um, we need those CT results because our patient has a, an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> So we'll see whether I have that appointment tomorrow or whether we have to reschedule. But, so be it. Again, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm assuming everything's going to be good. In the meantime, I will also update you on, dun dun dun, I don't know, I go this way. Oh, tomatoes. Those were, um, was the last of the tomatoes from my garden. I already used a batch of about that many. I made some chili. Uh, it's Saturday, actually. So now I have, what, five more. So I'll have to come up with a dish that I can um, use those up in. Making some mashed potatoes for dinner tonight. I'm finally making acorn squash. And but I have some chicken that I made the other day that we need to eat. So that's dinner. Yeah, it's raining outside though. So probably have Wayne drive me over to my mom's <laughs> and drop off food instead of walking. But that's okay. But it'll be yummy. And uh, we'll see, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So I did end up having my doctor's appointment this morning. The results were in my LiveWell account. I did not have an email. I checked there first and there was not an email, but I thought, well, let me check anyways, the LiveWell account, because if there aren't results, I will call the doctor's office and see if they even want me to come in. <laughs> because, um, I don't know how that goes, how, how they work that. But I did go into LiveWell and my CT scan results were there. So. I was kind of, you know, scrolling through and scrolling through and it was like most things, you know, unremarkable, unremarkable. And then there was a something that they were kind of watching or, you know, said keep a watch on and um, something else that had changed or. Um, so I'm like, OK, for the, for the most part, it looks like it's, you know, 95 percent good, <laughs> unremarkable on, you know, which is the words they want to hear. So we will see what he has to say about the other things. So, yeah, I got there. And uh, got in the office, and he came and saw me fairly quickly, and asked how I was doing. You know, and I'm, I'm doing good. He's like, "You're looking good. It's you're, you're feeling good." I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Okay." He asked me what what's been going on. It's been like six months since I've seen him because my last appointment I saw his main nurse. So um, I told him, "Yeah, I'm very grateful that I've been able to do things." And he was like, "Well, like what?" And had, had me explain a little. So I said about how, well, I've been, you know, doing things this summer, like going to Holy Hill and, you know, how I was able to walk so far and do the stairs and let alone the Holy Not that I was scared of heights and I did that too. But, you know, mainly that I did. <laughs> I, was, I was able to physically um, do all the walking, do the walking up the stairs, um, do the walking back to the car, and I was still good. I felt good. And I said, you know, I go to the grocery store. And, you know, as we're shopping and if we forget an item or something, you know, then I'm like, oh, I'll go get that. You just keep going and, you know, I'll be able to go back a few aisles and get the item and come back. And it's kind of like, hey, look at me, you know, I can do this. Yay. As opposed to, you know, a year ago when I'd be shopping and I was like, oh, I'm in pain, you know, let's hurry up and get through this. And, you know, Wayne would be like, do you need to go sit in the car? And no, I can, I can manage. I can, but, but now it's, it's all good. Yeah, and I said, even with taking my mom to the doctor the other day, and I said, being able to push the wheelchair and kind of even have to, you know, lift and, lift and scooch it a little bit to get through the doorways. And I said, I didn't feel any of that in the abdomen. Um, that was, it was all good. And he was like, well, yeah, excellent, good. He's like, well, um, the CT scan results all look good. He goes, I'm not concerned about anything in there. And so I'm like, whoa, excellent. And I said, okay. I said, well, I did have um, a question about something. And I said, okay, you know, tell me, ask me, ask me. And so I did mention 
a something and oh they that they found uh, a spot in the upper right kidney and he said that uh he said yeah that he's I'm, I'm not worried about that he goes like this could be some fluid he goes and it's so small and he's, you've had stuff there before and so yeah i don't think it's anything and uh, i'm like okay so then we kind of went through some of the, re the results so i printed that out um, to go through and so he just kind of um, glossed over everything type of thing so the main um, summary is stable surgical changes of abdominal per abdominal perineal resection and cutaneous flap reconstruction with improvement in soft tissue and fluid that was present in April so basically that's saying that the whole surgery area um, on the inside that looks better. <laughs> I had had some fluid there and that fluid area has decreased. So, I figured that. Um, stable pulmonary micronodules. That's what that says. <laughs> Micro, yeah. So again, yeah, I figured I might, they haven't been concerned about my lungs at all. Stable hepatic cysts. So that has to do with, um, I think hepatic. That would be liver. I should have looked that up. I think, I think that's liver. And then the indeterminate 7 millimeter right renal nodule, too small to characterize, recommend continued follow-up. No convincing evidence for new metastatic disease. So that was the um, thing that I saw about with the, the renal nodule. Um, so they said again, I think upper right kidney. And that was kind of, I think, what even I had before. I had... I don't know if it was that spot or another one, which is why we did the MRI at the, the three months. I did the CT scan and then three months later I had the MRI. And then three months later I just had that last CT scan. So the MRI was to give more detail to a couple of those same like shadowy areas or whatever. One of them was more from the midline scar that they figured it was just um, like scar tissue having to do with surgery. And I think there was one other spot that they looked at too and said, yeah, there was basically nothing there. So this um you know said to yeah with that one little nodule which as he said he's like ah he's not concerned about that one so yay um narrative exam ct chest abdomen pelvis with contrast we had yada so yeah so i had the contrast in there both liquid and iv chest thyroid unremarkable and they went up i was kind of wondering i get that you know when you go in the tube but it, it kind of went up way high and i'm like almost like you know my head is almost I'm like what are you looking at i thought it was just the down to look down here <laughs> so i guess they got my thyroid in there so thyroid unremarkable um they can see the port lungs are well inflated few scattered pulmonary nodules are stable yay lymph nodes no significant stuff cardiovascular the heart size is within normal limits esophagus unremarkable chest wall nine millimeters solid appearing nodule in the upper left breast i've had something it's almost like the size of like a tylenol pill that's been up here i've had that since i was 30 years old that's when i got to have my first mammogram is when they the doctor found that um so Again, he's not concerned about that, and he's like, just, you know, get your mammogram. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to schedule that yet. That's because the doctor already has an order in for it, so I will have to go ahead and do that. Liver stable, stable hepatic cysts and presumed fatty infiltration. Uh, pancreas, unremarkable. Gallbladder, unremarkable. Spleen, unremarkable. Adrenal glands, unremarkable. Kidneys, stable. Stable hypodensities, which likely reflect cysts involving the kidneys. So the 7 millimeter nodule in the anterior upper right kidney. Measures higher than simple fluid, but too small to characterize. Recommend follow-up. So, um, lymph nodes. No significant epicardial, epiphrenic right upper quadrant, mesentery, oh, yeah, lymph nodes, so yeah, nothing there, abdominal, aorta, normal, free fluid, free air, non-pelvis, stable changes of the resection, um, soft tissue is virtually identical to the MRI, 
Um, they did notice an improvement from April. So it used to be larger. It measured, um, I used to have 16 millimeters of like fluid and now I have nine. And another measurement too was, um, it was bigger. It was 2.6 and it went down to 2.5. So that was it. Those particular structures, bowel, mesentery, stomach is under distended, bowel is normal. No evidence of obstruction Yay. or acute inflammatory change. The appendix is seen and appears unremarkable. And I guess that's it. Three pages. One, two, three. So yeah. Yay. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, like I said, he said, he's like, yeah, none of that concerns him. So he figures that uh, the next test can be at six months. He's like, kind of like, if that's okay with you, he goes, I don't feel the need to have a test at three months, you know, even for that little one nodule thing. He said, because again, you've you know, had something there before, you seem fine, you, you know, you, you feel fine, you know, you, <laughs> uh, seems you're doing very well. So he's like, I have no concerns. So we'll do on um, the test in six months. He said the only other thing is, um, he has some people think that because they have uh, an ostomy that they don't need a colonoscopy, but you still do um, at least one here for follow-up. He said, so that would be good to uh, get that scheduled and in. And then after that's done, they'll tell you what kind of follow-up they want, like whether it be like three years or five years. So for him to say that too, I was like, oh, I don't have to have one like saying once a year for that five years maybe maybe they'll tell me I will but with him saying that you know yeah three years or five years you know to have another one I'm like oh that, that's that's interesting that's also good news and again thinking about you know yeah I think that all this is good but from his perspective too it seems like he obviously also thinks that I'm going to stay in remission and everything is good so yay <laughs> um I think that was it. I know he asked if I had any other questions or anything, and I said, no, not really. And I said, but how are you? <laughs> What's going on in your life? So I think he appreciates that too, because he sat there and talked to me for a while. Obviously, he didn't have a patient right away in that, because he has before, where he's kind of giving me the lowdown and then kind of stood up, he's, you know, ready to leave and and not just been relaxed and, and uh, giving me the time to, to talk or whatever. So this time it was just kind of like, yeah, you should all just, you know, kick back and relaxed and they had a good conversation. And so again, um, very nice. Maybe this is kind of a bright spot in his day too, also to see that <laughs> people get better. Um, I'm sure people do, but how many they have and how many are more in the uh, the positive uh, mind frame that, you know, life is good. So that's it for me. That's my update. Another one down. Uh, I know they did tell me originally that, and I think it was probably Ariel from three months ago, um, that the surgeon's office is usually pretty good about calling and scheduling the colonoscopies, but you never know. It's like with these CT scans and having to call ahead, I was told by both the nurse and by my doctor that, yeah, recently they've had to be calling, for the last couple months actually, they've had to call the CT scan um, place, but what put a message in and make sure to get the notes in before the appointments. So whether they're short-staffed on that end or what's going on, that um, it's not not running as smoothly as it usually does. Uh, so it could be the same for the colonoscopy if the surgeon's office is doing that or whatever, but I will I will get on that. So I'm gonna make that part of my part of my phone call list. <laughs> Have a phone calling day make some appointments and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, yes, I still am feeling good. I did mention to him that I still <laughs> get blockage type of stomach aches like every six weeks-ish or so, but again, I know what it feels like. I know what's going on. I know my body. I know if I need to, you know, if it would really get that bad that I would go to the hospital. So again, he was, you know, grateful for that. I think he could also tell that, that I'm telling the truth type of that I would do that. Like with the colonoscopy, he was like, um, yeah, that's the only thing that I you know, would like you to do. And he goes, I, I know 
you know you that you'll be the type of person that you'll follow up and you'll you'll do this so um, yeah <laughs> obviously he has patients that don't <laughs> um, but anyways yes so again all is good I hope you guys are doing well feeling well in good health making those good memories living each day it's all gonna be okay everything <laughs> everything is good you know you still have that roller coaster ride if by chance you're in a down spot you know what you take it day by day take it hour by hour it's going to be okay we're all we're all gonna get through this get through this thing called life uh, it's gonna be good so you guys keep it positive go make it a great day bye bye